Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Looking like another great Saturday evening for us here. Once that sun sets, temperatures sliding into the low 70s and upper 60s overnight. We'll call it mostly clear with a few clouds and light winds and maybe a spot shower through the night. But lows will still be in those upper 60s and low 70s. For a 68 Columbus, Vernon, 67, 66 in Hamilton, Tupelo, you'll drop down to 70 for our overnight lows. As we look at future cast here, can't rule out a few pop-up showers through the overnight hours. They seem to be mostly south and west of our area, but we'll keep the chance area-wide for an isolated shower. I still think many of us will stay dry. For our Sunday, look for temperatures to head back into the low to mid-90s in a few spots for many of us. We'll keep it variable winds through the afternoon as a frontal boundary shifts through the area and with partly cloudy skies and maybe the chance for an isolated shower. Look for 93 in Vernon, Solagent 92, 94 in Aliceville. As we head up into the Tupelo area, Tupelo 93 to the north, a little cooler, upper 80s in Boonville, Iuka, Corinth, and Ripley. We'll also see 90 in Water Valley and 92 in Aberdeen. And then down in the Golden Triangle, look for 93 in Columbus and West Point, 92 in Ackerman, 90 in Eupora and Winona, DeKalb, but you'll get up to 94 for our Sunday afternoon. As we look at Futurecast here, we see this boundary that's hanging over North Mississippi and Alabama. It keeps wiggling back and forth and gives us a chance for these pop-up showers and storms through Sunday. By the time Monday rolls around, Monday night into Tuesday, better chances for more scattered, numerous, even widespread showers and thunderstorms as the front starts to organize and a low pressure develops. Could close off into a closed low, which means a little stronger, a little better chances for some heavier rain and maybe even a few isolated severe storms as we look Monday, Tuesday. That will clear on through, though, by Wednesday afternoon and evening. In the meantime, though, can't rule out one to two inches of rain in some spots Monday through Wednesday. Trending drier and a little cooler as we head into next weekend, but still we'll keep the chance out there for some isolated to scattered showers and storms.